damn, bitch. Like, Do it, bro. I'm sorry for all the Master Chiefs that may watch that part if I forget that at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's it. Like, somebody got to be named John in their master. I'm waiting on it. Somebody. <laughs> somebody. Here we go. Highly black and flavored. What is this shit? Episode nine? Oh, man. Nine episodes already. Mr. Jaquise Crockett, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. Just dropped a uh, shoulder day video on KPODB Fitness to get the rest of this 30-day challenge out the way. Yeah. Uh, Got to start streaming again soon. I've been grinding like crazy in Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm second prestige, but that's besides the point. And the then, new one? Yeah. How? I've got four gold. He's, he's got time. Oh, it's not that I got time. I got skill. 12 years. Oh. Be some type of good. Oh, you put that time aside for that. Mm. Oh, I, I guarantee. Said, I said like two or three hours and play zombies and then like a couple multiplayer matches and get off. I be smacking people. Oh, you get to work in and just get on off, right? All right, cool D. And then for uh, that's right, two more people mm-hmm. like, be fitness. Um, and then I was in the middle of a cook up before we started this, so I'll get back to that after we done. Okay, Jabri, man, How, how's how's your uh, your last two weeks been? All right, man, it's been pretty good doing some channel stuff, trying to get more consistent. Uh, been chilling, just you know, I don't do much, you know. So yeah, how's you? Uh, how's the how's the new channel? Did you did you uh, push <laughs> nah, anything out to it? Nah, dude, I've I've been sitting here working on the script for like two weeks about uh different stuff, and I just don't know what I want the first episode to be. Like I thought I had an idea, but you know, um, make it a food. Wanna... Yeah, dude, just make, I'm just gonna make a food channel. <laughs> just a food channel, just nothing but nothing but food porn and <laughs> me cooking different types of fried chicken. That's it. <laughs> and I've never That's very it's, specific. It's crazy. I never even made fried chicken before in my life because that shit is bad for you. But um we eat healthy out here, Mr. Davis. I I do too. Oh, yeah, this man <laughs> definitely <laughs> that Arby. You know, <laughs> Nine fried chicken, motherfucker. And no, I do not eat Arby's. No, no, no. I, I, just I, 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 I eat fried chicken. I just don't. I just. I'm not gonna sit there and cook it. Nah. My dad. My dad eats Arby's, and his wife eat Arby's. And if they willingly, really? though, that's still crazy. If they bring it back, and I, it just so happens oh, to be there, bad. I will consume it. Arby's has good fries. That's it. No, they curly fries hit. Yeah, curly fries. We used, it's crazy because in high school, my senior year, we used to sometimes go to Arby's. And I used to never eat, but I would always get the fries. And then I, I just made that work for me. See, Jesus. I got y'all asses. Y'all been out here eating Arby's too. I see. The, the fries, see. the fries. I'm that, not out there. Still, Arby's, you get the meat that looking ass. You look Arby's. like the nigga that says that. That is still Yeah, because their fries I mean, are good. I, I still like Chick-fil-A waffle fries. Though. Right. So you pull up, you be pulling up to Arby's like, damn, I'm trying to get them fries though. That's it. I ain't out there getting the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> be like, is that all you want? The fries? Yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah, just throw, get a bag, throw some fries in the bag. And I have okay. never desired Arby's a day in my life. No, me neither. But if Ever. I do go, I'll get the fries because the fries are good. Fry, fries aren't too bad. I, I I think they're pretty decent. Yeah, they're pretty good. Now, since we're short a guest, right? I guess, well, not even a guest, but a host right now. Uh, we'll let, <laughs> yeah, we'll he let him. Be a guest. Yeah, he might, oh, he might as well just be a, <laughs> you know, he's a, a rapper, residential, so he's, a residential guest. Can't make time for us all the time. You know? Right, right. And this is really going to hurt him. That's why he should have brung his ass here. But um, uh, a landmark versus battle occurred uh, this passing weekend. Gucci, Gucci Mane, LaFleur, and Young Jeezy. Let's talk about this. Now before we dive in, yes. everyone say who they wanted to win. Before, One. without discussion. Yeah. Not at One. the same time. You gotta do I did it, it, watch it, but I wanted Gucci to win. Gucci. 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 Yeah. I'm team Gucci all, yeah, all day. Yeah. I mean, I like... I mean, Obviously, I think Gucci Mane is a, a much larger part of my childhood. Yep. And um, I think I just got to see him grow. I think he's had the better career. Yeah. I will say both men have transformed immensely since those days. I mean, they were young men in their their twenties when they first started, and now they're grown men with kids and families and and whatnot. And I think it's I think it's beautiful that they were able to squash something that was so personal to where they were once, they were once friends. And then a number of things transpired and 
uh, Gucci Mane ended up getting that that murder charge, which um, if y'all haven't heard, this, uh, yeah, <laughs> if if you haven't heard that story, I would definitely look into it. But it turned out one of the guys that was involved with that was an affiliate of uh, Young Jeezy's crew. So that that turned out real bad, and then it just it continued to get worse throughout like the last fifteen years. And I'm just glad that uh, they were able to talk to each other months ago. They they ended yeah. up squishing everything like months ago, but Jeezy ended up putting out that olive branch. And when you put out an opportunity like that, you don't turn that down. Um, and I was impressed, uh, regardless of what people. Some people saying, "Oh, this was so staged." And, and this, that, and the fourth. And I'm like, to me, it really doesn't even matter because it took a lot for them to even come together and really sit in the same room with each other for yeah, probably, almost two fucking hours. They're probably like, uh, like they're, they're grown, man, you know? Like, they're not, yeah. a, they're, not, they're not doing that life no more. So it's like, from somebody from the outside looking in, it makes sense for them to, um, for them to have squashed that beef because it's just like, like you're it's been however many years and they both obviously are not a part of that life anymore i don't even think jeezy still makes music he does he does well, he, he, well, he was supposed to. <laughs> i'm just kidding I'm saying, i haven't heard it so i'm <laughs> that's but... right, that's my thing about jeezy's music is kind of more of like a so like an insider thing so those that like jeezy and know about jeezy his fans really appreciate him i, I know that Growing up hearing his music, uh, have I always been the most dedicated fan of his? No, I've, like I said, I've always been more of a Gucci Man kind of guy because I think Gucci Man had he flooded the market and he yeah. was constantly around. He he was putting in a lot more work than Jeezy. He was huge I, when we were in middle school, man. Like, he oh, was like yeah. huge. Like that's all I had on my MP3 player. <laughs> like it was Gucci Man, dude from LimeWire. Yeah, by the time Gucci Man talks. By the time we were in middle school, that's around the time he started taking off. Yeah, it was just like just waiting on the bus stop, listening to Gucci Man. Like I lived that life, and yeah. I don't, I don't live that and life I, at all. I, like I said, I think Gucci had he has had the better career. I think he's been much more successful. Um, but that's besides the point. I do think both of them fall within the same kind of market, um, and I think both of them have, like once again, have grown immensely. And I'm glad I'm, it's great to see things like this, but there's one versus battle. I know I won't ever live to see 50 cent versus Ja Rule. That, <laughs> now, if that happens, happen. it's not even a competition though. That's why they would just do that for fun. Well, well, um, to some people, you, you might be able to make the, the, I think Ja Rule has enough hits to where he could put together a decent versus battle. But I, I think, I think because their beef history and how big how, 50 pet, Cent, how petty yeah. it's gotten and oh, how yeah. big 50 Cent is that it's not going to be um, that people would just even even if people never be really listening to old 50 Cent like they were still leaning towards 50 Cent because he's more he's been more impactful to the culture than Ja Rule has. He overshadowed he completely uh overshadowed Ja Rule's entire career. Hey, bro, you better not be playing with your penis, bro. All right? I didn't no. like the way you looked down. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but you see, before no. we continue, you, you seen that, um, you seen that, <laughs> that, that, like, news reporter or whatever? He was, like, they were, like, talking or whatever, like, on Zoom on or something. Zoom? Yeah, and the guy, like, he's sitting there just, like, stone face. He looked down. He's like, oh, fuck. And then it, like, ends. And then the other guy's just like, well, <laughs> oh my god that's horrible but um how did how did y'all feel watching the versus battle and was i the only one that felt kind of tense like i felt like somebody was gonna get stabbed by the end of that night for nah. some strange reason no nah, I, I, I didn't just like i didn't feel that way i felt i didn't watch all of it but um oh me either I'm i just, felt like i mean they're grown man like it feels like if they were younger and they did this, then yeah. But now they have too much to lose, both of them. Oh yeah. Like yeah, I think Jeezy has like they have money and all that stuff, and then Gucci Man has money and he has his new label and he has his wife is pregnant, so they have too much to lose. You know what I'm saying? Like there's don't ass. That don't mean but... they won't they won't squab a little bit. 
But yeah, right. but at the at the same time, it's like man, it's like they're grown. It's like why? It's like why though? Yeah, they could talk. They could talk all day. They got a lot of stuff to talk about. So it you know it would only make sense that things would be a little tense. I was sitting there like, oh shit. I hope the, he swings on him. <laughs> uh, no, I was just sitting there like, I wonder what because. You know, the whole, I, if there's anything that this versus battle did, is it killed the idea that Gucci Man was a clone. That is clearly, <laughs> oh, I remember that, boy. Yo. That is clearly Radrick Davis in that fucking body. <laughs> as far if as, it's, uh, why, why does it, why do you say that? Why do you think it kills the idea? Because, because Gucci just had a ser- a certain level of pettiness and, uh, just kind of a little bit of an edge to him. Like, you know, after he got out of prison, you know, of course he looked, he looked, he lost all of that weight. He, you know, he started taking care of himself. And people, it's crazy when when, a, when somebody starts taking care of themselves, they want to say you're a clone. He was a little bit more like restrained. He was more calm. He was really positive. And then, you know, he did time. What you give think? that, yeah. give that, give that a, about two years and then he starts doing these interviews he does the interview with Charlemagne, in which he just starts dropping bombs and just talking and you're like uh yeah this is gucci there's there's no clone there's no that's the same guy it's like people think um eminem is a clone too no he just fell off that's just uh that's the problem m just got old and Still a great rapper, very skilled, one of the best to fucking do it. But he's just, I, I just don't think his style, his age it translates well. Best. It, it doesn't translate to every song that he does and every song he's on. But I mean, he's not one in, song was good. He's good in pockets. I, I like hearing little things from him here and there. The the, the song bad. he did with Juice World was good. Look, he still be selling out like crazy to this day with a whole new age of artists. So he ain't selling nothing out now, bro. Kobe. Twenty plus years and still sell like that. That's something different. But the thing is, he's selling off his old music though. That's what Ken's trying to make the point of. Like he's like, like you can you can have anybody that had hits. Like for example, like like Lil Wayne, right? Lil Wayne's always gonna sell out because he has hits. But his not his newest stuff, but the stuff like his. You know that period, that weird period he had, like he had 2013 going. to yeah. like 2017. Yeah, he was. It was weird. Like he, like people wasn't listening to that. People not so, selling on his concerts, but they selling on his concerts because they want to hear, like, you know, a million or the police officer song. His like, last, his last <laughs> I probably say his last two albums have been. I, I think they've been good efforts, but it's a lot of the time with Lil Wayne, it's like with a funeral and the Carter Wait, Five. Last, right? yeah, yeah. Which I think Carter Five and which one else? The one funeral. Right? Funeral was uh, pretty uh, decent. Um, yeah, I thought Carter I Five thought, was really good. Yeah, I, I think both of them were very good efforts. They were better than the, what he put out the last five. It, it years, was way years. better than the shit he's been put he put out before that. Yeah. When did the um, funeral come out? Earlier this earlier year. this year. Yeah. Oh, I ain't seen nothing on my. Uh, yeah, it didn't. It body. didn't like blow up like that, but it was. It was decent. It wasn't. It was like a very. It was a low key release. Carter Five popped up for me, but I didn't see anything about. Carter, Carter Five was. I think I came out on my deployment. When I was on deployment. Yeah, it came out while I was deployed too. Yeah, and I was like, this is this is a good thing. Listen, to, like like Mona Lisa was fire. I'm like, I wish. Oh yeah. Oh look who it is. Oh he finally shit. finally shows up. Mister, I'm a rapper. I don't have time for. What is that on your hands? Motherfucker, shut up. He got. <laughs> I, I, about, know what, I was about what? to say you showed up to the Zoom call with none of your hand, bro. I just got done, bro. You know what it is. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I had to get that late night grind there before we get on the call. It's not even no. late. <laughs> but these kind of calls, yeah, these kind of calls like, it's kind of like being in front of people Some make people me nervous. Dinner. Yeah, I gotta do the guac guac three thousand with the two hands. You know what I'm saying? You don't do that on yourself, I'm though. The call. Yeah, you don't do it to yourself because you don't know how to please yourself. I'm not finna. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dirty anyway, ass coming anyway, here and hijack anyway, our anyway, damn conversation. Anyway. <laughs> you put the twin twist into your own shit, you'll never need a bitch again, I swear. Oh my You're God. You're horrible. He's but we're uh you, you finally you pulled up on at the right time. So we're just we're just going in on the uh yeah, Gucci I, I think the Jeezy uh versus battle. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That Young Jeezy, that nigga Snow Globe. You heard me? I know it's not Snow Globe. I'm just saying. Yeah. I think no, you're the man. only person I wanted Jeezy to win. And you wanted Jeezy to win? Yeah, because look, Gucci's hard, but it's just not hitting as hard as Jeezy is. No cap. Like, if you really think so, about it. So I was talking about this earlier today at work, and I was like, Jeezy has more... Classic. He has... he has. So so if you have, like, 10 songs, right? Yeah. Gucci Man has 10 great songs, but Jeezy has five better songs. Yeah, but also, like, he has got, like... But I like Gucci Man better, so it doesn't matter. You got like two or three great albums, though. You feel uh, I still me? like Gucci Man better. I'm sorry. I... Yeah, I know. Because you just like how he was just disrespectful. That's the only reason he won. No, I actually like Gucci Man. I don't care who won. I actually like Gucci Man more than I like Gucci. I like Gucci Man a lot better. Without Gucci Man, we wouldn't have so many rappers, bro. Like, you realize Fuck that niggas. shit? Fuck those niggas. We would never have Chris Carter if it wasn't for Gucci Man. Facts. Guap. Yeah. <laughs> Guap. Yo, I never have this color. camera because this is the best angle I've ever had in my life. God damn, I look crispy. Like, this is for the bitches. This is crispy. Like, you look burnt. Nah, look at this. But look, the beer is hitting, bro. Like, on, on camera, you can't see that there's like, a bunch of missing pieces. You know what I'm saying? He said the beer. Well, I, I also think um, Jesus just has better. a. I think his career, of course, he's got the shorter discography, but it's a little bit, his music is like a little bit more concise versus. um. With Jeezy or uh, with Gucci Mane, I, I feel like them not being able to have as many of those mixtape songs, it cut a lot of shit out of out of his lineup. Just straight up. just. But plus, my president was black and my Lambo blue, motherfucker. Fuck that shit. You're also amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said, Gucci was hard, but the only reason I was fucking with Gucci was because he was being so disrespectful for no reason. And that shit had me weak. Like, yeah. sorry, I'm watching Sky High. Don't laugh at me. I don't care. That man, that man lost his uh, mind. Dude, who's your favorite Sky High character? Bro, I'm gonna have to say, uh, what's her face? The girl with the with the with the power with the green with the grass powers and shit. Oh, the fake oh, wow. poison ivy. Yeah, the <laughs> fake poison ivy. I feel like that's hard as fuck. That'd be if I had a power, that's what I would want. Is there like a character that can only turn into a guinea pig? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about. Uh, the, yeah. The There's also a nigga on here that melts into a puddle though. Yeah, or the nigga oh, that this, or the nigga that this glows in the dark, like yeah, like <laughs> useless. Yeah, no, like, so I'm like powers are mad useless. Like nigga, why did you even come to the school? You could have went to a regular school with this shit. Yeah, but I don't care if you glow in the dark. Get a flashlight, <laughs> nigga. What the fuck? The buggy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, horse. On one it's... night, that nigga was mad. Like he was helpful one night when everything got real misty and they couldn't see shit. And you got to stop disrespecting us, man. You done call us whores at least three times. First of all, look, 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 <laughs> look, 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 itty bitty you bitch. Whores and shit, bitches. Yeah. You feel more disrespectful. <laughs> you acting like you won't fight you, bro. Oh, God, bro. You won't. Because you're in the military, I swear I to God, I break one of your It's fingers. not even the military part. Yo, pull up on him right now, Jaquise. Go drive there. Make sure you're on Zoom the whole time, bro. Pull up Positive. on him. Beat oh, his ass. Man, Come back to your I house. Oh, I didn't insult him because I know he'll pull up. Oh, he really... I know y'all going. Oh, I thought he's about to go. I was in our sleeve and switch the Zoom call to my phone. (laughs) And we be sitting here together, like, hey. Now you just gonna see a fist come through the camera. Bitch. Boom. (laughs) Boom. (laughs) He's gonna be gone. Somebody get him. I'm gonna run up on his laptop. But overall, overall, Chris, um, did you did you enjoy just the, the the energy of that versus battle? Just having them there and yeah. Yeah, that last that last five minutes though, nigga, I literally couldn't stop smiling. You can ask Biz. I was sitting here like I this. was sitting there like, I was like, oh, no, they didn't. They gonna do this. They gonna do this together. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. You started crying. <laughs> oh my god. You can sit here. You can ask Biz. I was sitting here struck. Like, did niggas just performing together? I didn't even know it was. It was so crazy. I didn't even know it was happening until I realized what song they was playing. It completely slipped my mind that, because that song is, oh, I haven't heard that song in like a while. And I complete, I knew that was good. That's Gucci Mane's song. But I it completely slipped my memory that that was one of the first songs I heard Young Jeezy on. Yeah. One of the very first. And I remember when the fucking song was still on the radio. Because Gucci Mane put Young Jeezy on. No, I'm playing. No, he didn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, he didn't. I bu- 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 do y'all hey. want to see who's hey. on? Versus Dream. Like, who do y'all want to see on Versus? I want to see Drake and Chris Brown since everybody want to be disrespectful. Drake is clearly yeah. better than this nigga. 
clearly. Yeah. Clearly. I mean, why why are we Drake Drake and Chris Brown? That's the stupidest you know, fucking idea ever. Everybody hates Drake so much for no reason. I don't think nobody could beat Drake. Bro, Chris, Chris be singing his motherfucking ass off. And Drake, Drake does his thing. And yeah. I, I think that's disrespectful. That's nobody, disrespectful of Drake as a as an artist yeah, and as a rapper. I don't think it has to be like Michael Jackson versus Drake. Damn near, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what that's even more. <laughs> yeah, like damn near, bro. Because Drake be having I don't really like Drake that much. That nigga Drake has so many anyway. That nigga <laughs> Yo, she was bit all the way yeah, up. We got we got a clip that somewhere. That's that's making yo. the promo. I'm sorry, that is making the yo, promo. I'm not cutting that shit at all. <laughs> nope, nope. That is hey, not getting like cut. The intro clip. Oh my god. So that's back. that's saying right there. Oh, that's, that's what it be. That's what it be like. Instead of JC's music, it's gonna be like our thing, and it's gonna be damn, bitch. damn, bitch. And then the podcast is gonna start. I swear to God, that's what it's gonna be from now on. on everything, bro. But what what were you saying before you were interrupted? Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, you, bro, I don't know if y'all live with a female, but she just bent all the way the fuck over, bro. Like I just looked over and just seen ass. <laughs> anyway. You look like you not like you haven't been married to her or haven't been with her for over a decade. That's good. Like, it's that's the same, man. Yeah, it's the best part. Sometimes I put I make her put a wig on. But anyways, Chris Brown. So <laughs> Chris Brown and- <laughs> nah, but uh, Chris Brown, Chris Brown got hella hits, right? But yeah. Drake is just on some a whole nother I level. I don't think nobody. It really. I'm not even joking when I say it really has to be like Drake and like Michael Jackson or some shit. No, like Drake and the Beatles, like dead ass. Yeah, he's he's got more hits than anybody in the yeah, world. Like, I could, it's ridiculous. As much as yeah. I really don't listen to Drake, that motherfucker when he slaps, he slaps hard, bro. But like, put bro. Chris, put Chris. Don't you can't disrespect either one of them. You got to put Chris in that R and B. In that in, in that R and B set, so you gotta put him up with Chris a... Brown, or like Chris Brown and like what Omari on Usher, Omar Usher, 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 Usher is Usher is probably don't sleep on Usher because yeah. Usher Usher yeah, I, had been I he's Usher, cross I got herpes, man. Yeah, facts. He ain't sleeping with nobody. Let it be. Ain't you feeling me? <laughs> <laughs> that was well timed. Yo, it really was. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see. I want to see Kid Cudi and uh and Frank Ocean. Nah, because Frank Ooh, Ocean's not nah. depressing. We, we need Kid Cudi with somebody else that's equally depressing. Nah, Look. I because I I just think uh they're just they release music a lot differently, and I mean, but you guys, the type of music that they're doing is different. Yeah, completely. Because like Chris, I mean, uh, Kid Cudi's the only person I know that can make depression sound fun. Like, <laughs> and no, like, bro, I'm commanding suicide. Yeah, I was sitting here, the boss, I was, bro. Yes, I was sitting there, Mr. Ranger. Ranger, <laughs> tell me where you going? <laughs> tell me where you headed. And we're floating <laughs> out. And then you're crying, but you have a good time, so it's like you're fine. And then before, like, before they made the party mix of Pursuit of Happiness, like I was singing a regular version, like I wanna pursue the happiness. Oh no! But who? So who? Because Kit Kat is my like. I like, got some interchangeable from like one nobody two, can see. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like Kit Kat is the king of depression. Nobody in the in the lifetime can make depression sound as fun as Kit Kat. The like, soundtrack to my life. That man got us through middle school and high school, bro. Then again, influenced us to do drugs. Like no cap. <laughs> He made depression seem fun. Like I was sitting there. Bro, yo, remember, remember when we were in? Uh, I think we were in middle school, and we had that. I don't know if y'all can remember this. I don't remember y'all was there or not, but we had that meeting at the high school, and it was like these two people were breaking down music, and they broke down um, um, one of the Kid Cudi songs. I can't remember which one it was, but we were like in an auditorium, and they were like telling us how this song is about doing drugs and shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all remember that? No. Yeah, I remember that insulting shit. Doing the drugs to the song though. I, I don't think that. I don't think he was there, Chris. When you when you get here? I got there in eighth grade. Yeah, I don't think He's, he was. I don't think he was there. This is my show. He's getting ransacked. But bro, it was like we went. We, yeah, because we walked to the the high school, and then they were like talking about how um. It was like, it was like uh, that tractor song too. Yeah! 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 Not everybody wants to hop on this shit. This that shit was weird, bro. Bit. It was so weird. Hey. Yo, son, you get your show jacked. <laughs> he just came in. It's my show. 
But it was like they were talking about like how these songs are influencing us to do drugs, and then they played the Kid Cudi song, and everyone was like, "Yeah, yeah. yeah. first of all, <laughs> doing drugs. Everybody knows doing drugs is a personal choice. If you was gonna do that shit, you are gonna do that shit." Bro, you sound like the line, bro. You sound like that Darren line that we all failed. So like I was a hey, huge- we let them down. So like I'm a huge Mac Miller fan, right? Yeah. While I was listening to Mac Miller, I'd be doing the drugs that he was talking about while listening to this nigga talk about. I will, it. I will say some of the music does can influence, but nobody puts the pill in your mouth. Nobody puts the blunt to your lips. I ain't never touched any. That's false. I've never abused <laughs> any substances. Nobody puts a day the blunt in my in life, <laughs> and I've been listening to the same music y'all been listening to for well over What's a decade. Can- sorry, sorry, we didn't have a privileged life and became officers. Yeah. Too. Well, first of all, you motherfucker, all of y'all are fucking military brats. I ought to punch you in your face, Jabri. <laughs> Sorry we didn't have the jazz rock band to help us with our depression. First of all, you motherfucker. I, I can't stand you. <laughs> Instead of playing fucking saxophone. Sorry, Wait, Ken. Sorry I was a part of chorus and I cried because you, I didn't want to do What you need to do is turn your ass around and go buy some pants and some fucking water bottles for $3.99 each over there at Marshall's. Cause I know damn sure I'm about to come over there and I'm about to splurge. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm confused on what we're talking about now because I thought we were talking about drugs. Oh, he's at Marshalls. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Tattoos. Let me see your tattoos. Back. Huh? You know, see my tattoos. Let me see your tattoos. Okay. All right. Okay. We got the anchors on them. Oh, uh, also, Jockeys, I-, I like your videos, but I-, I will never do that shit in my life. <laughs> Yo, dead ass. Like, I said I was going to do that shit, but I worked out this morning. Nope. <laughs> nope. Do work out this morning. Well, you don't, y'all don't got to worry about the show today. At least the chest day, that's easy. Cause can, we get a, can we get an ab day? That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. like that's all. I got a day, uh, I'm editing those right now. You're actually. doing what to them? Editing. Editing. I don't think that's how you say that. Editing. Editing. But yeah, bro, like I fuck with the videos, they mad crispy, but I will, you will never in your lifetime, not even three lifetimes, catch me doing anything like that. Like, not even close. I was the last, what's the last time you did a sit up? Last time I did a sit up? This morning when I woke up. I knew he was gonna say that. (laughs) I had a feeling. No, bro, you got, I mean, push up right now. Damn, Chris, you let yourself go? Stop it. Stop it. Do you look like Gucci before, like Gucci in 2009? He looked like the Gucci that used to smell like. I think I love. (laughs) I smell like a Rick Ross, bro. If I was to describe my body type, I would say I'm more like. Shawty Low. You know what I mean? Rest in peace. I'm like Zeus, even. You know what I mean? You said Zeus? As in Tiny Lister? No, like the. The The God? Nah, you capping, bro. You big like man. Debo? No, like if when I <laughs> the dog Zeus. <laughs> when I go, <laughs> if I were to make a tender today and they said, "How is your body built?" I would say athletic as fuck. I mean, you like know? Zeus, like the network. <laughs> Niggas be lying, bro. That's what it sounds like. Man. I've got like a six pack of abs under all this fat. No cap. <laughs> He's not wrong. Whew. I'm not, bro. I really do. Like, I can still see my abs. Like, it's crazy. It's like my fat just went underneath them. It didn't. You know when you get, you know when you get Hawaiian rolls and they're like in the pack. Yeah, that's what that is. So, if you were a car, yeah. like, what would you be built? Built like be what a car Ford Fiesta. Whoa, <laughs> with the hatchback. <laughs> I was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I say like maybe like a like a like a like a hatchback. You know, what with I'm the saying? party with the party lights inside. <laughs> with the party lights. You'd be inside. a hatchback, but one of the ones that aren't like modded. They're just like no, a normal no. hatchback. Come on, stop it! I'm only two thirty. Why are you playing me like? How this? tall are you? Like five nine and a half. What's y'all standards for the army PRT? Like for the army yeah. physical. He getting kicked out. <laughs> I was about to say the same <laughs> shit, bro. Two thirty for five nine, bro. God. Damn. Damn. I could. I don't even think I could. I'm six one, no, and I couldn't like, be. I couldn't be two thirty. Because like I don't have like a super huge stomach. Like it's just a regular. But how does it feel moving around with that weight though? Like I mean, like anybody else, you fucking. He feels like he feels know. like he feels like Bow Wow's band from Tokyo Drift. That's how he feels. That, you know that guy. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a deep five, cut, but I got to think about that. I was I'm, I'm in the mood. I will sit here and gas the fuck out of all y'all. 
Boy, I'll barbecue your ass. Hey, hey, it's your right here. You look like you barbecued yourself, your dark ass. Oh, Shut your ass no. up. You look like you wear underwear with the dick holes in them. Oh, you like- no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That don't even make fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> in my mind, I've been mentally preparing for this moment to roast each other, but I can't. I'm scared. We're so, we, we not going to do this because then this will get just, this will get ugly. Like you don't want to do this. We don't, we don't want to do this because we'll end up fighting each other. And I'll get in my feelings drive. and I say, you know, I'm booking a flight to come kill y'all niggas. Like, <laughs> <laughs> holy fuck. Yeah. Like, oh, word. Taco Bell me under his chin. He look like he can scrape that shit off and make a taco. <laughs> wow. See, Chris, we stopped. Remember that we stopped. Oh, okay. we stopped. So now you're just bullying. Yeah, you bullying like to bully us. people, huh? I'm in all types of big ass cars. Now my ass. That I said you're, a four Fiesta is small. What are you talking about? But, but, <laughs> even, even, bro, even Bow Wow's van wasn't really that big. His van no. was kind of fly, though. No, nah, I said you was like a four Flex. She's shit. not nah, that big. She usually is. So I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he mad because we called it fat. I bet you shove pasta in between your teeth before you eat, don't you? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I can't hold that one back. I do. And I let it marinate in there a little bit before I suck it down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all we can see is glasses and a smile, you fucking black bitch. <laughs> yeah, at least my teeth are white, you some bitch. Ooh. <laughs> Them oh, baloney man. ass nipples. I bet you suck your nipples and you get thirsty. Yo, JC, don't say nothing, bro. <laughs> they live inside of it. We don't say nothing. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, bro, see, now I got to cut that out. Ain't nobody trying to see it. Oh, <laughs> are you, oh, you mean this? Oh, this? What I is gotta, that? We got to censor it. That bitch look like a lost chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba got two Hershey kisses on his chest, bro. Goddamn West a- West African kinky I twist in you your head. Sorry, because I don't know how to stop. I'm telling you. <laughs> what was the next topic? Man? What's the next? What's yes, the next like, topic. Please, we're moving please. into sports. Um, mm-hmm. so the biggest moment of cap will definitely be uh Mr. Sheck West. Go get your boy, Chris. Bro, that was hey, smart. Man, was, was, it was very, it was let's good. Do it. Now, he is smart, bro. It real. is good marketing. Yo, for, for his song. real. What did I miss? Sheck um, so Sheck, Sheck West, West going to the NBA. What? He, bro, he is draft, smart, man. bro. He is smart as fuck. Draft's already over there. I said he's eligible for it, though. So, so yeah. he he declared for the draft, and on the draft, he released a song, and the song is low key kind of fire. Not yeah. gonna say a lie. And the video is kind of good too. Did he get picked up? No, nigga. No, of course he didn't. <laughs> no, of course he, <laughs> of course he did. That's why I put that in there because it was like good marketing strategy, but it, it would have been. Do y'all think that would have been a great story? If I'm, I'm still waiting for Lil B to enter the league. I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for Mo Bama to finally live up to that song. Master P did it, but like he didn't really ball out. He played in the uh, was it the, the and I think the Hornets for yeah. like a little bit. Yeah, he didn't ball out. Though. He didn't even get no PT. Low well, he up. did. I think he did a little bit of um. It was either like G League or one yeah, of the. It was called something different then. Yeah, it was like a like a developmental kind of league. The D League. That's in. what it was called. Because niggas yeah. was trash. Okay, <laughs> okay. So look, this is what I don't understand. Like Lil Romeo, that nigga played for like USC or some shit. Yeah. Oh no, Shaq was actually with a French basketball team. But that's not the NBA. Yeah, it's, it's not the NBA. Who cares? It's not about it. He's on, he's on, he's on, he's on his way, though. Biz, why you keep bending over the cakes, man? What are you doing? <laughs> man, I'm about to get off this. <laughs> <laughs> That's distracting. It is, bro. She got these tight-ass jokes. Right. Well, outside, you- of, outside of that, you have the NBA draft. And boy, well, has this shit been shaken up. Let's well, talk a little bit about oh. this. What is, what are some of the uh the highs and lows that have come we with got this Anthony NBA? Edwards, bro. We, we fucking got- lost Drew Holiday, man. Oh no. That's your fault though. And you- it is. It I is. First off, my team is self-destructing, but we got more draft picks than anybody. That's hard. <laughs> the shit clean. Who, who, uh, the Thunder, right? Yeah. That's yeah. my lucky maybe be, be the eighth seed almost, maybe. With who? Yep. We lost. We gave Adams away. Okay. And, uh, we got Chris Shaq. Paul. Chris Paul is leaving. Chris Paul. Yeah, he's, he's for the Suns. Y'all. Yeah. Don't be. I'm. I'm saying though, below on some real shit. Don't be surprised 
uh, Shy Gillis Alexander snaps for some reason. He will snap. But what I'm and saying, they make they, and they're like in the competition for the AFC. I don't think they're going to be. I don't want like, to be AFC. I actually, if we're going to want them to be bad or good, that's what you want. I mean, I'm just saying, like, if we're going to lose, we might as well lose all of it. There's no point in going to the playoffs and not getting yeah. good picks and then get our ass beat. But they're still going to have good picks, though. Like you said, they got all them damn drafts. We have hella picks. Yeah. I think we have to draft the whole the college. All next, of yeah, no, next summer, I think we're going to trade. We'll probably trade a bunch of those picks for a star. Cause we got a bunch in the first round type shit. Y'all gonna have y'all gonna have a lot of cap space too. Think about that. I ain't have nobody sign. I mean, yeah. Who's who, nobody wants to go? To the, who wants to go to OKC in the first place? Especially now it's, with no one there. It's okay. <laughs> it's not it's okay. okay. I mean, who wanted to go to the fucking Hornets? I would go to the Hornets. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Now, bro, now, now would probably team. be a better. But even like, I still wouldn't want to go to the Hornets. Honestly, I, 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 I like why? Gotta pick me. Bro, first off, why these motherfuckers gotta pick me? If Michael Jordan. Picked me, I would go for sure. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Michael Jordan was a, I, Michael Jordan is a great, is, a, is was a great player. He's the worst GM. But this ever. nigga is a terrible GM, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> is trash, bro. He's sitting, he's sitting in the back drinking and shit. He wow. is the worst, <laughs> the just, worst by far. This nigga's reasoning, okay? He's got Teddy Rozier. He's decent got player, uh, decent player. Darius Graham, I think his name is. That nigga has ball. Devontae Graham. Devontae Graham. He's good as I like him. He's, he's one of my favorite players. Spell. And now we're in the draft. We've got the third pick. There's a lot of centers available, but fuck that. Let's take Lamelo Ball. Another well, so, so my thing is, if that they, they, my thing is, what Lamelo is? He's still he's six eight. Yeah, he's raw. He's gonna be raw. He, well, he's six eight. He's a six eight, but he's soft, right? And Terry Rozier is nice, but he's not finna very be, very lanky, like, lanky yeah. kid. Terry but, Rozier is not finna be like somebody that's he's like. He, he he's a come off the bench point guard, bro. That's when he was yeah, the best he, he for the like Celtics. Last year. Huh? He averaged like nineteen last year. But they was they winning last year? I mean, are they winning any year? Like no, you know, but seriously, are they winning any year? I don't want to start him, man. He's better coming off the bench because he's better than all the bench players, but he's not better than any starting point guard. I mean, I would much rather have Terry Rozier as my starting point guard than not have Terry Rozier as my starting point guard. But would you rather have Terry Rozier or Lamelo Ball? I don't know because we don't know what he does in the NBA yet. Exactly. I will say on 2K, but his upside is bigger than on 2K. Or... This nigga Lamelo, the nastiest player in 2K. This nigga grabs boards, gets assists, still because it's 2K. I know. Okay. Watch he be like a bust, bro. I hope. I hope whenever. I hope whenever. I hope OKC, he's not a bust. Not OKC, but, but um, I hope whenever the Pelicans face face them, that Lonzo bullies this nigga. I hope. I, I hope. I hope, it's, I hope it's the other way around. Yeah, I want yeah. Lonzo to fuck this yeah, nigga up. Gonna go uh, up. Leangelo going to take them both down. Yeah, Leangelo. Look, we got, look, I'm telling you, if we don't pick up Leangelo out of the G League, I'm going to be pissed because that nigga's raw on the low. Niggas sleep yeah. on him. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he don't get caught crazy. shoplifting. But damn. I mean, that that was low. Shit, I ain't going to lie. That was low. It was damn. bullshit, though. Like, Winston, Winston got – Fucking caught stealing crab legs, and that nigga still got to play. <laughs> well, I remember, bro. I remember. That. I was college when that shit happened on the news. I Yo, was confused. Like, anyway, you gonna tell me, Leandro Ball, who is a better scorer than most of the people that were in college and in high school, that man can't get a second round pick, bro? They picked up so many trash ass people last year. He's in a. He's in a uh, G League. He's in a G League. Yeah, he's in, he's in G League. League. He's in OKC. I think it's. I. I don't. Maybe it's because he's not. He does. He's not a standout guy like like Lamelo and Leangelo. He gets buckets, but you got to think like like. Come off the bench. I know, but man, yeah, people. Whenever people are in the G League, man, they really, they honestly, they really hardly ever pull from the G League, bro. If I was gonna pick, I mean, I don't think so. Not anymore. I think now that the G League is getting paid and they actually got money into their shit, it's gonna be a lot easier. I think. I think the biggest G League player that was last year that like was had a two year contract last year was um the nigga on the Lakers, the the white dude. Um, Russo. yeah, Alex Russo was like the biggest like G League player last year, like low key. Yeah, I know, but look, I'm telling you, Leandro's gonna ball. I can see it, bro. He's that nigga's gonna kill the G League niggas easy. Who's he? What team is he with? with he's on OKC. Of course, you would say he's gonna kill niggas. <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course, you would say that. Okay? That, that's, that bias is all. Yeah, that's been a established. bias right there. But he is he is good though. He is good. I think he's ball, bro. For real, he probably he's got. I think out of all three brothers, he's got the best shot. Easy. Yeah, he got the best shot, but like you know, other, I would still shot. choose the other brothers over him. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't. I would probably, but if you had to pick between Leangelo and Lonzo, I would probably pick Leangelo. 
Like, yeah, I, I would. I pick only, Leangelo, Leangelo too. Lonzo, I would pick Lonzo because I, Lonzo. I think Lonzo's just better defense. Ken, that's kind of disrespectful. But I think it's your starting point guard. Bro. No, look, I, like, I know. Support your team, bro. I'm always going to support my team. I don't give a fuck. I, <laughs> I am always going to support my team, not always the players yeah, on it. Lonzo's not the starting point guard no more. They just picked up Eric Bledsoe. Oh, Either oh, way, he's starting. Oh. Either way, he's starting. That's what Lonzo. I'm saying. Ah. You, think, you you want to make bet, bro? First game that then they get starting over him. Over we'll see. We'll over see. Because like I said, you think the Bledsoe Pelicans. is going to start. They're yeah, going to play together. They're like, playing together. Just like how when um, what's all the nigga? Drew Holiday was there. Yeah, they yeah. were together. But Drew Holiday is more of a shooting guard anyway. He could play shooting guard. But he played point guard his whole career. Eric Bledsoe, Lonzo Ball has to be point guard, and he's six six. Eric Bledsoe's oh, like they're not. They're not for the bench, Lonzo. I don't give a fuck. I will put money why? on the table. Why wouldn't they? I don't. I don't think they're going. They're not. They're, they're going to play them together. Bench. They're going to play them together. I promise you. Didn't they? Who's that? Who's you guys shooting guard? They don't have a shooting guard. That's why they had Drew Holiday starting. That's why they had Drew and Lonzo together. I mean, they have Josh Hart. Yeah, I was gonna say Josh Hart, but he sucks low key too. Yeah, he is kind of, but he's funny though. Remember when like James Harden hit himself in the face with the ball, and he like made that face or whatever. Like Josh Hart's funny <laughs> as fuck. Kuzma's and, low key trash too. Who? Kuzma. I don't think Kuzma trash. I just think he. I don't think he's for, trash. I don't think I, he shouldn't play for the Lakers. I think he's. I think he's inconsistent. He he's shouldn't trash. play for the Lakers, man. I think it's trash. He talks way too much trash to not be. He does. I think if he played for another. I remember they was talking about training him to to the um to the Pistons for like Derrick Rose. And I think if he went to the Pistons, he's gonna snap like that ass. Cause I mean, the the Eastern Conference is low key like weak as fuck. There's only like two good teams. I know it was starting to get good too. He's just, kind of- he's just gonna flame niggas, bro. Like that ass. Like if he goes to the fucking if he goes to the Eastern Conference, he's fighting. Well, I thought James Harden was going to the Nets, and then niggas said we want Kyrie or KD. I, I won't watch basketball next year if oh, he went to the Nets. Doing? It might be outside. Huh? If he went to the Nets, I'm not watching basketball next year, man. If what? If James Harden goes to the Nets? Yeah, I'm not watching basketball Why? Next year. I, heard, I heard that was the rumor. The it's the rumor, but I, bro, I can't, man. Because oh, whenever, oh, Kevin, whenever oh. Kevin Durant went to the Warriors, I didn't watch almost any of the games. Yeah, but you knew what, you knew what it was going to be. Exactly. Well, that's not it, bro. They're not going. First off, Kyrie is not a good player. I mean, he's a good player, but he's a fucking cancer. Like, okay, I was about to say, damn, you might want to come no, right quick. I was just saying, you know, and Iverson are like completely the same because they're both really good players, but the personalities. Who would you rather have? Yeah, yeah, but on top of that, like, Kobe just hasn't been the same since he left the Cavs. Like, that's no cap. It's because he's. I honestly, it's think- been a, it's been like a serious, like I don't, I wouldn't say an attitude adjustment for him or like you start seeing like he starts he moved he started moving a lot different after he left well, the cast. Yeah, because he wanted to be that guy but he's not that guy bro he's a sidekick and he just has to keep like that's just what it is bro he's i'm not saying he sucks he's just a, he's just a second option that's just what it is bro that nigga can get buckets all day but he can't run a team like he can't pass the ball well enough for whatever reason he has so, that. that's what i'm saying like him and james not james harden but my biggest thing with Kevin Durant is Kevin Durant is a very passive leader, mm-hmm. right? Like he's a very passive. That's the same thing issue he had with Russell Westbrook. Yeah. Russell Westbrook was very exactly. aggressive, but Kevin Durant was passive. And he's going to, even though it's Kevin Durant's team, by all means, like he's way better than Kyrie. They're going to sit there and Kyrie, I feel like Kyrie's going to dictate that team and it's not going to lead to success because Kyrie is going to be heading the team. Well, well, should be well, Kevin Durant, but Kevin Durant's like, not built like that. Yeah, because KD's a bitch, low key. He don't know how to say what he want to say. Yeah, like I, I, Kevin Durant's one of my favorite players, but I he's just, bitch. I don't understand it, bro. He's one of the greatest players. He's probably the second best player in the league right now. Third best player in the league. Who's he, the first? LeBron, Who's obviously. The second? second, I would say KD or um, Giannis. Okay, I thought you about to say Kawhi. Like, I was about to end the Zoom call. Nah. I, I hate that nigga Kawhi Leonard. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Hey, that nigga hey, is hey. not as good as people make it out to be. Uh, they did win a ring in their first year with the Rockets. But that's Bro, all they, that shit was pure luck. Yeah. Think about this. Th- hold on. Think about this for a minute. Clippers are think, cursed. Think, think, that's think think all you have think to about say. This. Almost when LeBron was in the East, right? Who was he yeah. almost always facing against in the Eastern Conference Finals? Warriors. No, no, the Eastern Conference Finals, oh, not the Eastern Finals. Conference, my bad. The Celtics or the Raptors? And they was he was busting their ass back. And he was busting their ass, right? He leaves right to the Lakers. 
And the Raptors swap DeMar DeRozan and Kawhi and Kawhi Leonard. Pretty much low key, almost the same player, except Kawhi is way better defensively. Yeah. The mid-range game is crazy. Yeah, but that's what you need though. Exactly, right? Mm-hmm. If DeMar DeRozan was on that team, I still think they would have went to the finals. Would they would have won? I don't know. Mm-mm. I don't think they would have. I think DeRozan. I, was, I think DeRozan was truly holding them niggas back. I think they would. I still. I think they would have went to the finals, but they wouldn't have won. No, you gotta think because Kawhi. First off, Kawhi has a different skill set than DeRozan does. DeRozan. He is, does, man. He DeRozan, does. DeRozan can dunk and he can shoot a little bit. Kawhi can dunk, shoot, catch. My board, my thing. My, the way they're similar. The way they're similar is that. Their mid range game is where they get their buckets, right? And yeah. DeMar DeRozan's mid range game is crazy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, look, and people forget that shit because he went to the he went to the Spurs, and on the Spurs, it is not really using that nigga as good as fuck. But when he was on the Raptors, literally the only thing that was holding him back was literally LeBron James, like for real, for making the either the Eastern Conference Finals or the actual finals. It's hard to say that because he went to the Spurs and they did shit. Because the Spurs are just trash. I'm not going to sit here and hold you, bro. I I agree with you, but that shouldn't stop his individual numbers. The the Spurs, it shouldn't stop his individual numbers. You got to think like the way that system is, the way Greg Popovich is, like he doesn't sit there and he's not going to cater to one player. Like well, even, why did he, even when he had Tim Duncan, like it wasn't the Tim Duncan's team. They played team basketball. So and the Martin you... Rosen's more of a, like a like he needs the ball type of nigga. Like that ass. Like they played an all around team game, and that's not how like you'd be successful with the Martin Rose. Same yeah. thing with Lamarcus Aldridge. So, like, so what's the point of him resigning then? I don't get that either. I don't know why he resigned with the Spurs. I don't know. I honestly don't fucking know. I honestly think I don't know. I know there was talks to him like going to the Lakers or some shit, and I think that, that would have kind of been low key. Like, that, that would have been good, but at the same time, would have been kind of weird. Not really, because it's like he needs the ball a lot to be effective. Like we was just saying, like imagine if he goes to a team and he has the ball even less. It's like. <laughs> 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 well, we can sit here and talk basketball, bro. Like, it's not, it's not my fault. My fault. Y'all, y'all could go on all day. But, but this is, you know, it's crazy because I saw your, your timer and it was, it said 18.55 and I was like, it's not fucking almost seven o'clock. Like, what? <laughs> but it's like, y'all forget y'all hour behind. Yeah. Uh, pushing into the, the next topic, bro, we had that, <laughs> that PS5, that, that, that PlayStation. We don't want to talk about that. I can't afford that shit. That PlayStation, I'm I'm not gonna buy. I never buy new consoles. But um, what's crazy I, about I got it yet either. That is so none none of us have bought it yet. Pushing into that, bro. The pre-orders and the initial release, I wouldn't say it's a disaster. It's but a, no, it's a disaster. What the fuck? You it's about? you can't. I wouldn't quite. Let's just I wouldn't quite disaster. call it a disaster. But no, I can't. No, I can't sit. Is. I can't sit here with a straight face. And try to say it's not a disaster, bro. That did not. It's a fucking mess because you have scalpers, you got people, all types of people buying up multiple PlayStations and selling them for a thousand dollars. My thing is, it's only because of COVID, though. That yeah, I, yes, yeah, yeah. Really like niggas is really buying that shit for a thousand dollars. Yes, on that first day, that first week. Oh, never. Yeah, they had a like a serious show. And does PlayStation know about this? Of no. course they do. Probably. They know. They nah, they like it doesn't affect. It doesn't affect. It doesn't them. affect them. That right. they don't. But they don't let me tell you. Let me tell you where that becomes an issue. They don't make money off of those resold consoles. They get that initial, and that's really all they're concerned about. But they seeing other people make money off of that resale, that gets their. That could definitely that can get their attention. That's something that they can address, but. Not well, right now. It's not affecting their bread, so why would they? It's not. It's, it's not it's affecting their bottom line. That's how supply and demand like, works. They, they profiting. That's how yes, supply and demand it's, works. It's scarcity. It's basic scarcity. Right now, we have a problem. The I'm supply not and the demand don't meet. They don't match. They don't meet together. So, so I'm, Chris is um, I'm no. I'm definitely about to cop that new Xbox. No cap. This is this why? is consumerism at its finest. Three hundred dollars. What do you Xbox okay, yeah, 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 you're the right. digital one? Broke, nigga. <laughs> I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke, bro. Let's get the let's get the PS4, dog. Chill out. No, why? Because I'm broke. That bitch is there's still- a there's a there's a 
fucking cheap PS4 too. Bro, nigga. you can buy you can you buy a base model buy PlayStation, PlayStation 4 and it won't cost you nothing. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. You want me to buy the PS4 at the same price that I could buy the new Xbox. Bro, the thing with the new Xbox, right? The cheaper one yeah. is not as strong. Oh, like it does it has yeah. better graphics though. Okay, okay, real quick, just real quick. Can I play 2K on there? I'm talking about playing with us, bro. Okay, you trying to play games, right? I play 2K on there. Yes. Okay, then I don't need nothing else. But, but can you play Spider Man? I don't know. Can no. you play God he of War? You can't play no goddamn Spider Man. You can't play no God of War. Huh? You can't play them, right? You can't play that shit, right? Huh? I don't play any of those games. See, that's why you're not for the culture, Chris. Christopher. You swine. I just pretend that I can play basketball and play 2K like everybody else. I saw this TikTok I was going to send in the group chat, and it was like with uh, niggas that don't have a PS4, how they play Spider Man. And it was like this nigga playing GTA, just a Spider Man. He like jumped <laughs> web swing. Yeah, that shit had me weak, bro. I was going to say, bro. <laughs> Wait. Yo, who's, who's that? Yo, who's you that? Uh, you got a visitor back there, bro. I don't know what you're talking oh. about. Oh, that's Carol, man. That's Carol Bass. That's Carol. Oh Carol Bass. Yeah, that'd be they're buying the fucking uh, the drum and the ass to <clears throat> know her husband. Bro, so there there's reports about people buying the PlayStation 5 mm. and did they turn that shit on and they play for a couple of hours and it just completely bricks. Bricks That's on them. Like, you know what didn't do that? The Xbox. Those did <laughs> some of those did that. No, you I always have you no, always no, have stories many about my YouTubers that I watch. New sir. Well, fuck now. Xbox, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jeez. Don't be mad at because your PS5 that you're going to buy is going to be broken two hours. <laughs> no, my Damn, shit's going to be perfectly fine I'm because I wasn't I wasn't the dummy that went out and bought it on the first week. Imagine those niggas that spend $1,000 on their PS5 just for that bitch to be broken two hours. <laughs> Yo, if you have a thousand dollars, man, you might as well just buy a fucking computer, dude. Just buy a PC, like just buy a fucking computer. Anybody, yeah. that's watch, anybody that's watching this, if you have an, if you love video gaming, just buy a fucking computer. Be what? rich. Just buy a computer. Dead ass. Well, y'all got me in trouble. I don't know what y'all did. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> that was your fault. He about it. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Like to get the phone and found all the bitches. Thanks, guys. Uh, and, I'm sorry. Me, uh, what was I doing? I was watching Jackie's uh, video. Mm-hmm. She was like, are you watching a video about working out while not working out? That's probably the fact. Damn, that's wild. <laughs> that's this is oh, bro. Hey, that, like, you, that was probably the fattest shit I've ever done, bro, to watch a workout video and not be working out. She was I think I was laying in bed when I watched it, low-key. Yeah, like, I was trying to show love, bro. That's all. I just wanted to show love to my nigga, get him some I'm not. I'm not going to lie, bro. I was laying down when I watched it, too. Oh, God. <laughs> I was looking at this. He, when he did the handstand, I was like, this ain't for me. I think no, I, was, real, I was laying I was like, down, eating was, brownies just, and like, ice cream while I was watching. That I really like to work out, like that wake up and like just like, I'm going to go to the gym. That's the kind of guy that- Whenever like, you drop your album, no, I'm going to do that shit because because that's the only issue I have is just abs. Oh, that's I was listening. I was yeah, listening to your app, EP. Uh, you said with, you were doing um, that? Actually, tomorrow. I'll drop the album day video tomorrow. I was that, listening to your EP with uh with with Steven when I was, uh we went to go eat the other day. And he was Don't like, "This shit date. hard." I was like, "He was like, who is this? Oh, that's that's Chris Carter." He's like, "That's Chris, Chris who?" <laughs> as in, as in, you know his government name. Yeah, I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "That Chris?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, that Chris." He said, "Fucking Columbus." <laughs> <laughs> I was about yeah. to say it, but I didn't want to say nothing, bro. I didn't want to just keep continue to drop your your government name. Well, I mean, well, Whoa. fuck it. You already said it. The I'm best, sure. the best is whenever I'm like listening to my Spotify daily mix, and you're on there, nigga. I'm like, this nigga really out here, bro. You like, put your God, foot in bro, that damn really out here, man. Like, bro, my grandpa sent me a picture. He saw, he saw me on Google. He, he uses Google. He's old, so <laughs> he sent me a picture of his Google Music. And he said your shit popped up first. I felt special as fuck, but then I realized you, I just you probably didn't listen to that shit. Don't listen yeah, to most likely, niggas look at my shit and be like, eh. Nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> I guarantee you, every time I send my music to somebody from New York, they're just like, uh, "Really?" Yo, people from New York was garbage. They missing oh. out. But like, why? Oh, why are you even trying to? If they, if you were cool with them, they'll give you a listen. The people I'm cool from New York, I talk to. 
And if that was yeah, the people on the group to, chat. To the people that are in this, this yeah, fucking it's, room. Saying, it's probably all of us right here. Like us, and then like maybe like Enya sometimes, like every once in a while. And my nigga, like it, to my nigga Denzel for sure. I haven't talked to Denzel in forever, man. That nigga's big as fuck, bro. And let me, let me, I want to also want to shout out to the homie Enya because uh, Glasses are crazy, peak, bro, right? peak weirdness Enya is back. 2000, 2008 to 2011 Enya is fucking yeah, that, You talking about that picture? That shit was funny. Yes. She is fucking here to stay in full effect. Um, yeah, for the record, we're not going to shout out Enya. Shout out to Biz. <laughs> Yo, Biz. Enya, Y'all not friends up more? What happened, Biz? Nah, we're friends. No, no, you know what's crazy? Her laptop password is still I Heart Enya. Like, well, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> On the internet, your laptop's broken anyway. Anyway, <laughs> Check it like I can't edit this out. That's gonna be the name of the episode. I love India, black and highly flavored episode nine. <laughs> I was about to say, What Liz and Enya fell out? No, they're friends. Okay, you know, you know how- casual, casual dating in the pandemic. Don't has do. this changed any of your has the pandemic changed any of you guys' habits and pursuing the, the ladies? Yeah, man, I don't want to catch Corona out here. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just playing. Jabri be out here shooting. <laughs> I better have like, a JB block boy, dog. Oh, boy. <laughs> you just put your mask on, your Tims. No, let me stop saying that. Well, let me stop. <laughs> Before I get in trouble. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, um, for me personally, <laughs> uh, nothing nothing much has changed. It's just. Okay, man, you out here getting your pizza. You just got to have a, you got to have a conversation. Hold on. First of all. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me. Yes. Nope. Nope. What y'all begin into, man? Ken and Ken and JC, man. Will y'all be out here in these streets? I don't be out here like that, but I I'll be I'll be chilling. Yeah, nigga, he be out here in the streets. J- JC over here doing the light skin thing, like <laughs> hey, yo, yo, you know. Me. Yo, this guy been over here straight <laughs> breaking I cheeks, I breaking my- cheeks during the pandemic. I know you into the fitness stuff. So I know you in here devouring spines, my nigga. Like, you're oh, here. Devouring spines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm I'm trying to do a better job of just, you know, just getting out there and just having a good time. So Candy, it's, Tinder, it's not it's not easy. Candy on Tinder swiping on these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he got the he paid for it. He um. That's his goal. Dude, his profile he paid. The gold profile? Yeah, see, he knows. <laughs> oh, God, how dare you? I don't pay for that. I like I like being old fashioned. I like meeting people and going on going out on dates and shit like that. But the pandemic has kind of slowed shit like that down. Like you can't just go out and always meet people. I mean, now people are more open to coming out of the houses. And, yeah, take that bitch on the walk. Yeah, <laughs> take her on the yeah. walk. Make sure she has her mask. You can go to uh, Lake Austin, Jaquise. I'll be right back. Uh, Jabri, Jabri got to go clean it up. Jabri got to go clean his, his shit up. So my yeah. homie back here, he was on Tinder a couple of days ago, and he found some chick on there. And straight up in her profile, it was like, uh, what was it? Well, I need a face to sit on. I just want a face to sit on. She just wanted the face to sit on. Nothing else. Just just drag drag her ass across your face oh, and so she me, leaves. No, no, let me tell. Let me tell. All right. So look. So check, check, check. check. That is not the way. All right. So, <laughs> like, I text her, you know what I'm saying? I text her, bitch in my face. I get I send a dick pic and she like, okay. I she like, she like it. I'm like, okay, cool. It's going good. You know what I'm saying? She's then she texts me and she was like. And she sent me a fucking video where she put a, she put her legs up, and then whenever she started rubbing herself, and then she started sliding her panties up, and then that shit was wet as fuck. I was like, God, damn! I mean, <laughs> and then I was like, Okay, that's cool. Hey, what that ass was like though? She was like, What you gonna send me? I was like, Bitch, what the fuck, boy? You want to send me something? And maybe I'll send you something else. Okay, cool. She sent me that ass. All right. So then I sent a body photo. Now I was confused, and I ghost that ass by the way, some point. But I was confused because it was like she was asking me all these questions. Like, what's the last time you had sex? Da, 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 da. I want to see more. Da, da, like, like, bitch, the fuck you want? You want to see my damn feet? The fuck? 
Like, you just want a fucking face to sit on. Like, the dick is ready. Like, the fuck? Do you want to fuck or not? You know what I'm saying? So I ghost that. <laughs> I just say ghost that. Block them. Send them the plane. Move on. Next. <laughs> But yeah, I I was talking to somebody about that today. Like, oh man, I'll be I'll be having so much shit to do. And then everybody's trapped in everywhere. And this disease kind of has everybody a little on edge. Fuck, man. It's I'll, just like I'll be sending everybody out. No cap, bro, for real. Like, yeah. I swear to God, in the past couple months, nobody has stayed in their crib. <laughs> no. I mean, no. Bro, Look, it, it go like this. It's also their fault though because you know they did send everybody back to work, so it's like oh, I'll be seeing people in the club and shit. I'm like, why are you in the club? I ain't go nowhere, man. It, it goes like this: in March, it was the fear of COVID, and then uh, people staying in. Now uh, the rate of COVID is up, and people just don't give a fuck about it. Yeah, people's like, oh. if I'm not dying from it, I don't care, man. It's like, bro, yo, that's 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 wild. <laughs> Dude, my bro, glasses, bro. I stay cricket, bro. Oh on Halloween, God. I went. You got a money your do rag? Huh? Huh? Nah. You said your glasses are cricket. I was gonna say, stick them in your uh, do rag. That's what this, I do. This bitch, bitch. This that shit feels oh, weird with my headphones on. Uh, I went to this party and I was like, there was like me and like two other oh. people that had a mask. Bro, look at how tall. This should be irresponsible, man. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got. I'm about to die out of this shit. <laughs> I got kids. Yeah, fuck all that. Bad <laughs> night smoke, bro. This is this is not the way. Corona is not for me. Like it's, no, it's not. not. It's not for me. Sometimes you yeah. just gotta be your lane. You feel me? I feel like I feel like right now it probably wouldn't be the most responsible thing for me to like be casually dating. But that's that's kind of what it might have to be with my lifestyle. I yeah, prefer to be in you know, a happy. dedicated relationship, but. I got a lot going on. And <laughs> what the fuck is going on back there? What the bitch stood on my face. That's all I want. That's all I want in a relationship, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it, it would be nice. funny, yo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He, he wild. Golly. But yeah, can hey. do it. Do it makes you happy, bro. Like, you know, but at the same time, be responsible. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be oh, out yeah. here getting AIDS or getting somebody pregnant. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I, I'm not. Man, I'm, that was the most I love it. Yeah, yeah. You put AIDS. And you went to the worst, you yeah, I mean, the worst possible. AIDS, baby. Eh, same thing. Yeah. It's like that Donald Glover. It's like that Donald Glover stand up he did. I mean, once you get them, you pretty much can't yeah. date. Yeah, it's like people. you only can date people that have baby. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. AIDS, baby, they both forever. Yeah. And that was kind of uh, stuff. I miss when he did stand up, bro. Oh, this shit was oh yeah, he was he great. Was. But he's one of my favorite comedians. Yeah, Tom that's Bates. actually a, that's actually a really good set. Tom I might watch that. I might watch that here in a little bit. I'm definitely about to play Madden. That's definitely the way. I thought you only played 2K. I play Madden too. Whoever want to lose and whatever. But how you be playing that's sports? Sense. But you're not athletic, bro. That's cat. I will bust you. Since oh. we're coming, we're coming to a, <laughs> we're coming to a bit of a grand, grand close because we didn't been here fucking forever. Yeah, and man. we sat and talked an additional like twenty five minutes, which we're gonna have to cut out anyway. Mister Jaquise Crockett, tell us and all the people watching this where they can find you at. You can find me at KPODB Fitness on YouTube. You can also find me at Mystic Impact on YouTube and Twitch as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Jabri Singleton, Yo. tell them where the fuck they can find you at. I mean, first of all, don't be cursing at me, bro. I'm very sensitive. Yeah. But you can find me at Jabriz007 TV here on YouTube or Jabriz007 underscore on Twitch. That's really it. Or my, my Instagram, Jabriz007 underscore, I think, maybe. Link in the description for all of our stuff. Oh, yeah. And lastly, our residential rapper. Mr. Chris Carter, where can we find you? Uh, probably at somebody baby mama house. Apple me. Hey. <laughs> I can't, bitch. You gotta slap him one of these, man. I we just going out. Hand reach out. We're going. We're going out, out fucking that. swinging in these streets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Chris Carter Music underscore, or you can go to my website at chriscartermusic.com. Definitely check me out on Spotify, Chris Carter. RTG Drop is doing great, so I appreciate all y'all. 
Fire, check it out. That's it, fire. Fire, I'm fire, about to, fire. I'm about to run that shit like, back. Fire. That is, like, it is a really nine cool. out of 10. The only reason it's not a 10 is because I can't hype this nigga up too much. You can, though. <laughs> you I, can, I can, but I, I can't. Hate more. If you want to. <laughs> That's the <laughs> only reason why it's not. You might I'm as well say, good. I hate you. I hate you. I don't even know you. I hate your guts. I hate yeah. you. I hate I just, you. I hate you. I just got to make sure. Because I got to make sure you strive for greatness, man. Let's see, you know. Is we gotta, yeah, you know, we gotta keep it moving. I appreciate you. I'm actually, I'm off December fourth through the eighth. I'm gonna be in the studio for like four days straight. It's gonna be lit. Oh, just I just need uh, the Christmas songs day. to come out, bro. A Christmas song, nigga. That be I need to make. I need that you Chris Carter jingle, bro. That sounds gay. That sounds gay. Did you do that jingle jangle? Oh, <laughs> Where can we find you at, Ken? <laughs> you can find me. You can find me at uh, Savannah Nakatre on Instagram. That is S I V A D N E K A T R E. There we go. And we're fucking out of here. We'll catch y'all next week. Peace. Oh, yeah, peace. Cue the outro. Cool. Hey, drop the beat. Hey, Jaquise. Jaquise, drop the beat. We don't. I was about to press a button. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm low-key kind of drunk. <laughs> like, <laughs> this one thing. 